Is the Jordan 1 UNC toe shock drop canceled? Looks like some Yeezy models are not going to release. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sneaker Huddle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a little bit of sneaker news and also some upcoming sneaker releases. Now, we're always keeping you in the loop for early information when shock drops are loaded and all that stuff. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and enable post notifications and also follow us on Instagram. Now, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of sneaker news. Giannis Antetokounmpo debuts his fifth signature Nike sneaker. And I have to say, from the looks of these these are probably my favorite so far of all of his signature basketball sneakers now per reports it looks like edison chin and clot are not going to be with nike no longer once their contract is up this is going to be the last the final of the clot releases with nike they're going to be moving to adidas but to sum up their last release with nike and the swoosh it looks like it's going to be a what the dunk for the clot nike dunk low where they take a piece of all their collaborations that they've done in the past from the air force ones to the air max ones to the nike dunks the nike dunk highs and they're going to put them on the nike dunk low here we have a detailed look at the upcoming adidas basketball crazy infinity sneaker and i have to say there's some fashion enthusiasts and streetwear enthusiasts that are really excited for this pair of sneakers it's a very niche audience that is very peculiar and interested in this pair but i think that these look really good and i'm excited to see when these come out how they are nike ceo this past week has revealed that nike is planning to relaunch the kobe brand ahead of kobe day or mamba day in 2020 now, Mamba Day is quickly approaching. It is on 824, which is, of course, August 24th. So if they're going to roll out these colorways and various models to bring them back, they're going to be doing it very, very soon. So be sure to stay tuned here on the channel. I would say that the very first colorway that we're going to receive is the Kobe, forget which one, I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but it is a triple white colorway. And he also went on to say that it's going to be one of the most exciting summers. So I'm really excited to see what colorways that they roll out. And these should be popping up any day now. Now. And let us know down below in the comments if you could get your hands on one Kobe retro model, which model would it be and what colorway? Now you gotta love this one. Nike makes a commercial for Nikola Jokic. Now let's check it out. So a Siberian guy walks into the arena, wins MVP, wins another one, helps lead the team to the playoffs, then the finals, wins a ring, brings a city together, and everyone is happy. That's it. That's the punchline. No joke. Now, this past week, we did lose someone in the sneaker community, and we all know who it is. Is of course, Born and Raised founder, Chris Printup. Nike put out this statement here that they mourned the loss of Born and Raised founder, and out of respect for his friends and family, we are postponing the launch of the upcoming collection. Now, I just personally would like to send condolences to the family, all the friends that were out there. He seems like he was a really good dude. He just recently went to his alma mater high school and gifted all the seniors a fresh pair of the dunks. I really hope that the kids that got those uh, hold on to them and cherish them. So not really sure what else to say. Um Sorry to kind of have a uh, low note of the video, but let's keep it moving. Now, it looks like there could be some more J-Tip Saucony original collaborations on the way. Here we have an in-hand look of the upcoming Travis Scott Nike Air Jordan 1 Low golf shoes. And it looks like they do have the Cactus Jack logo on the left and then Air Jordan into the right. Let us know what you think of these down below in the comments now that we have some better images out of them. Private Selection took to Instagram to reveal the upcoming perhaps Halloween Nike SB Dunks that are going to be themed for Candy Corn. Now, let us know down below what do you think of these we can't really see too much as of yet looks like ian was kind of uh didn't want to give us too much all at once just kind of some subtle little details there depending on how they are it looks like they do have a skeleton bone that's kind of embossed into the toe there so kind of interesting and will be interesting to see what the colorway comes out to be now one of the trendiest sneakers for summer which if you have missed our video on all the trendiest sneakers for summer 2023 i will link it right there but we talked about on that list was the nike zoom Bermuda. Camaro 5. And the CEO has stated that they are going to roll out and pump up the volume and more colorways of these very soon. So would expect the Vomero 5s to be very, very strong moving into the end of 23, going into 2024. But no release date yet for these, but expect them to drop soon. Now, these images also come from Private Selection and it's an in-hand look at a new colorway of a Yeezy slide. This one's known as the Dust Rose colorway that is kind of like a more so brown colorway. It does kind of have some rosy tones to it. And while we're on the note of Adidas and Yeezy, we also have some more colorways of the 450 slides looks like a green a black a white a cream pair and kind of like a orangish kind of rosy pair and then of course we did see kim kardashian with the initial colorway that's kind of like a which that might be no it's not they're different this one's that orange colorway that is i guess will be the first model that perhaps will release and at paris fashion week we saw that como de garcon had an upcoming collaboration with nike and acg and here we have some better in-hand looks of the model and so far i'm liking what i'm seeing now in 
NBA legend, one of the best three-point shooters of all time, Ray Allen, took to Instagram to show off his super rare, I guess, player exclusive. Of course, they are rare. If we take a look here from one to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, and so on. Every single modeled player exclusive Boston Celtic Air Jordan Retro. I'd really love to have this collection. Now this next topic comes from Influence Drops and this is about Kanye West, Adidas, and Yeezy. It looks like the 950 boots are not gonna be restocking. Now the caption that they did put out on Instagram, it says this is after the boot being leaked in 2022 and was likely canceled due to Ye's comments. So probably what happened is that Adidas and Yeezy, they plan to bring back the boots and the boots never began manufacturing process so that is perhaps why we will maybe not see them in the future more images from private selection these are a detailed look at the upcoming blue nike dunk low athletic departments now the red pair that released earlier i think those were really really nice and this blue pair i think these are even better now here we have a very first look at the upcoming air jordan 3 retro fear now i've been a big fan of this colorway i've never owned it but definitely gonna pick this one up i really love the gray hues and the orange hits that are just within this Air Jordan 3 Retro. And if you're excited for these also, you can pick them up on November 25th. Now let's get into the shock drop of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG UNC Toe. Now it has not happened yet. When it does happen, be sure to follow us on Twitter. It's the link down below in the video description and enable post notifications. We will let you know before the shock drop goes live. So you will be ready for it. That's the easiest way for us to get the information out for you. There's no need for you to join an Instagram page and have to pay for them guessing on when it's gonna be just follow us on twitter enable notifications and you'll get it for free and for this info in the future be sure to subscribe to the channel here so we can always keep you in the loop now when it comes to the stock that is loaded there is currently 390,000 pairs loaded to the nike sneakers app now if you remember for the shock drop of the air jordan 1 next chapter aka spider verse air jordan 1's the second edition there was like 300,000 pairs that did shock drop and then on release day there was less pairs that dropped on release day than there was for the shock drop so you had a better odds, better opportunity of hitting on the shock drop than you did on actual release day. Would expect the fact that there's already 390,000 pairs loaded to the Nike sneakers app to drop at some point. It could be a shock drop. It could be on release day. We don't know quite yet, but it looks like there is indeed going to be a shock drop. I would say for that 390,000 pairs initially, and then additional stock will release on release day. Now the bulk of the stock is going to be that 390,000 pairs if they do unload it for a shock drop. So the reason why I'm placing emphasis on this is because if you don't hit on the shock drop, release date is going to be really, really tough to cop. So that's why it's going to be really important to follow us on Twitter, enable notifications so you can get the opportunity and be prepared to know before when the shock drop goes live. And I do think that it's a strong possibility that it could happen this upcoming week because one, if you take a look at the Nike release calendar uh, to Nike sneakers, it is a very, very dead week. The only thing that we have really is the phone posits that are going down on on the six, I believe that it was. So when it comes to Nike having to bump up their revenue, they have to release something this week. And I think that they have kind of cleared out their release schedule so they can release this sneaker early as a shock drop, which would be that 390,000 pairs that we see loaded to the back end right now. So if you got value out of this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. That helps us so much here on the channel. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and also check out a video right there. We would love to have you check out some of the on foot reviews are some of the other videos that we have on the channel. God bless each and every one of you and have a great week.